Hey everybody, welcome back to DV Tech. It is really nice to see all of you guys here again. If you are new to the channel, my name is Dave and I do tech reviews here. And today in house, I have battle of two Samsung behemoths for you guys and the Galaxy S23 Ultra, brand new, boxier than its predecessor, and the Galaxy Fold 4, which has been my more consistent daily driver basically every single day since its release. So today we're going to be looking at camera comparisons, discussing differences in terms of like battery life, build quality, also looking at like the S Pen and overall looking at how these two tech giants match up, which one might be the better buy for you and kind of walking you guys through my personal lifestyle usage and which one kind of fits my lifestyle a bit better. So let's jump in. Now I'm going to start with a thing that I actually started my channel with, which was the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which had the S Pen, which I loved tremendously. And so you have that here in the Galaxy S23 Ultra, just like you did in the 22 Ultra, but you also have that over on the Galaxy Fold 4. Now it's not a part of the body the way that it is in the S23 Ultra, which is undoubtedly a lot more convenient because on the Fold 4, it adds a bit more bulk to the phone resting in your pocket, which flat out is just not as convenient. But for those of you who have been here for a little bit, have seen my Galaxy Fold 4 reviews in the last few months. Um, you guys know that I work as a therapist and the Galaxy Fold 4 has been insanely complimentary to my lifestyle in that way. Being able to use the Fold 4 as a signing pad, basically, for when I'm in sessions with new clientele going over paperwork signing over um, for like their confidentiality rights um, and basically like for our businesses practices what they can expect and all of those kinds of things this has been awesome you pop open that massive display and it's a signing pad that was a phone in your pocket just a second ago and i love that one of my favorite features from the Note 10 Plus was that you could just slide out the pen from the bottom of the phone with the screen off and two becomes a signing pad for you, but it's more like a notepad. And you can just jot down your notes, your thoughts, your ideas, and then put it back in and put your phone back in your pocket and it saves it for you. And I really, really enjoyed that. Ease of use. I think the S23 Ultra has that in spades. And I will say that using these two, the writing experience on the Fold 4 is great. However, I do think it's better on this 23 Ultra. Um, it's just a bit faster and more responsive. And that does not mean that it's a bad experience on here because honestly, I didn't even notice that it wasn't quite as good as it could be <laughs> until I used it on this. And none of my clients ever complained about using it on here either. So for what that's worth, I think a slight nod goes to the S23 Ultra, but you're not getting a bad experience over here. The experience here is just better. So in terms of one-handed usability, hands down, the Galaxy Fold 4 is a much easier phone to use. You have the fingerprint sensor that you can swipe down on and swipe back up to access your notification shade. You can't do that on the S23 Ultra. The closest thing is like the one-handed mode where you swipe down on the bottom of your screen, which I think works really well. I've never had a problem in terms of that being glitchy or laggy or anything. That works every single time that you try and access it. Though I do enjoy just having everything immediately and readily available on this front display. That being said, every single time I pull the Note 23 Ultra out of my pocket, it is just, it's just a beautiful device. I mean, it's a near bezel-less display. Everything looks crisp and vibrant. And it's not to say that the front display on the Fold 4 is bad because it's also a great display, but the bezels are a little bit larger than on the S23 Ultra. This more so feels like a glass screen that you're just kind of holding, which is really nice. And so I can say that one is objectively better than the other. It really just comes down to preference. No matter which one you pick up, you're getting a great screen experience and a great phone holding usability experience. The S23 Ultra is just a massive device with a 6.8 inch display. Now, thankfully for me, I do have larger hands. And so like using this one handed for me is not a problem. Uh, but objectively speaking for a lot of people, this is gonna be too big a lot of the times. Um, but that one-handed mode does help a lot when you're outside in direct sunlight. The S23 Ultra, by nature of its normal glass screen, does handle that better than the Fold 4's internal display, that large tablet screen. Just because of the material that it's made out of, light bounces off of it a little bit different. So even though it is max brightness and you can see what's on the inner display, it's just not quite as 
viewable as on the S23 Ultra, if that makes sense. The front display, I think, handles outside just as well as the S23, but the inside display, not quite as much. If you're enjoying the video so far and want to stay up to date with what other content's coming here to the channel, hitting the subscribe button is the best way to stay up to date. Um, it does help me out a lot. A thumbs up also goes a long way, and I'll be having more S23 Ultra content coming here to the channel. I'm also going to be doing a comparison with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. Enjoy the rest of your video. Now, suffice to say, both of these devices are just stupidly powerful. The S23 Ultra does have the newer processor, but I mean, you can max out basically every game that you'd ever want to play on a mobile device without any problem. I will say, one small difference I have noticed is that on Genshin Impact, for example, which is notoriously a very resource-intensive game, is that on the S23 Ultra, I can run that with everything at maximum on the 60 frames per second mode, and it handles it great. On the Fold 4, I've noticed that you can have everything on maximum also. On the 60 frames per second mode, you can have it on, but you'll get some frame drops. So what I've been doing is I'll have everything on maximum, and then what I'll also do is just, instead of 60 frames per second, I'll put it on 40 45 frames. For me, honestly, it feels just as smooth as on those 23 Ultra, and you're getting all of the additional graphical fidelity that you want to out of your device. So in that way, it's pretty excellent. However, I will say that although the screen on the S23 Ultra is immensely, immensely crisp and vibrant and detailed, flat out, just being honest, nothing beats being able to play Genshin Impact or say Punishing Grey Raven or uh, say Asphalt or Call of Duty on this tablet display. It's not a bad experience on here because the screen is just smaller. Like the screen is fantastic on this. It's just that flat out, you just can't beat this kind of form factor when you're playing something, especially something that's graphically intensive. There's a lot of particle effects happening on screen at once. And so if you ask me in terms of like what I'd prefer to play games on, it would be this. So like, for example, even when I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, I can have the screen set up in like this sort of battleship mode. I could be playing on my side of the screen and then my opponent's side of the screen is up on the top portion of the device. But if I don't want to do the folding thing and just want to use it like as a tablet to duel with, there's just much more screen real estate to see the card text, um, the animations and all of those things as opposed to on the 23 Ultra. But again, it really comes down to if you want this form factor in your pocket at all times. And also the pricing. Gaming on this is just a better experience. The S23 Ultra is not a bad experience. I just find this to be better. In terms of battery life, again, I've been using the Fold 4 basically every day since it came out, except for when I was reviewing, of course, like the Pixel 7 Pro, the iPhone, and other devices. I can say that it's a strong, like, six and a half hour device. The S23 Ultra, man, that thing is a powerhouse. Um, I know myself personally, I've been getting like seven plus hours of screen on time. I've seen other people getting like uh, easily like eight plus hours of screen on time. So objectively speaking, if all you're looking for in the device is like battery life, then the S23 Ultra flat out is going to be the device that you want to go for. Um, I also mentioned that in my iPhone 14 Pro Max versus Galaxy Fold 4 video, that even though I preferred the Fold in a number of different ways, if you wanted battery life, I mean, even to this day, man, the, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the battery on that thing is just ridiculous basically um but between these two devices if you're looking for just battery life then the s23 ultra is definitely the way to go so camera time i mean you guys know all the specifications for the s23 ultra um it is it's pack and heat uh for lack of better words um i would say that overall the camera systems on this are better than on the fold 4 the fold 4 still takes amazing pictures if you guys have seen my previous fold 4 reviews but generally speaking for this section you guys seem to like when i just kind of like show you guys the comparison and let you form your own opinion and thoughts and ideas on what you think is better and what you prefer and so i'm gonna do just that enjoy Alright guys, so this is the front facing camera for both of these devices um, in the Ultra HD 60 frames per second mode. I will say that I think the camera quality on both of these looks really, really good. However, the S23 Ultra for sure captures more of the redness in my, my skin's undertones than the Fold 4 does. But in terms of quality, you're getting a really good looking picture at both of these, but 
In terms of color accuracy for my skin, S23. All right guys, so right now you're getting the 8K mode on the cameras. You get 30 frames on the S23 Ultra while you're getting 24 frames on the Galaxy Fold 4. I think that color on both looks really, really good. In the viewfinder, you can definitely tell that the S23 Ultra is a smoother viewing experience when you're sifting back and forth and you're sort of rotating around your scene. But honestly, I think both look really good. I'll let you guys determine what you think. So I feel like the trendy thing might be to either like bash the brand new phone because it's not that good and doesn't change that much or take the stance of the predecessor that came before it, the Fold 4 and that like it's better because it can fold open and but like not everyone needs a folding phone and also like the S23 Ultra is a great great device. Personally the Fold 4 fits into my lifestyle in more ways, generally speaking, like for work. And it's not because the Note 23 Ultra can't do those things. I just think that the way that the Fold 4 accentuates my lifestyle is just a bit more of a better fit than the 23 Ultra. But if you don't need those things and you don't want those things, the 23 Ultra is an amazing device and I'm really, really excited to continue using it and comparing it to other devices and, and seeing the little intricacies and nuances of using in everyday life. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by and hanging out. I hope you had a fantastic time watching this video. If you have any recommendations or thoughts or ideas for me, leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, um, peace, love, and adios, have an awesome day.